brand new method, at least a brand new method for me, for peeling quail eggs. I expect to see Southpaw Davy on his channel mass producing these any minute now. They are not a very complicated apparatus. Um, I'm just barely beginning to use it. I've peeled maybe, I don't know, 10 eggs or so already and uh, setting up to do a video. Um, these are two rods, stainless steel I would say, like this handle that cranks it, and they're covered with this kind of tubing. I've seen the tubing before used somewhere and I'm not quite sure where. I think it's a medical type tubing. It almost looks like the kind of thing that they, they wrap around your arm for a tourniquet so that they can get a, a vein to take blood, blood samples with. And I don't know, maybe for other uses as well. But anyway, they, in the instructions they said they would send it with the clamp to clamp it down and a spare set of these. Well, they sent me two spare sets of these. I should say where I'm getting this from, I guess. This came directly from Shanghai, China, uh, through a large Chinese uh, wholesale company called Alibaba. It's uh, quite equivalent to our Amazon or whatever. It has everything. and it, A lot of the things that they sell, you have to be a retailer. I mean, anybody could buy them, but you have to be a retailer for it to make sense. You could buy one of these, but most of the other things that they sell, it's like 50 units, 100 units, whatever, of the, of the items. Like, uh, I can find it here. These things that I use for clipping the end off of the quail egg makes it easier to when you're frying quail eggs or whatever they sell those but you have to buy a hundred of them and if you were going to resell them on youtube or amazon or whatever i guess that would make sense this as i say came direct from china very quickly it was shipped about a week ago and i received it a few hours ago um, i think a very reliable company there was a mistake initially when i placed the order uh, I placed the order, paid for the order, got confirmation back that they had received the payment. The next thing I know, I was getting emails telling me to pay for the order that it hadn't been paid for. So I sent off an inquiry and said, you know, I don't know what's going wrong here, but I've already paid for that order. And a man wrote back to me almost immediately and said, you have two orders. And it sort of made sense to me at that point. Their uh, website froze on me when I was trying to make the order so I just started over again and evidently it placed the first order along with the second order anyway he just said ignore the second order if you only need one of these and this will ship tomorrow and it did um, came courier uh, just delivered right to my door a short time ago $58 US I paid for the unit and shipping I don't know shipping was less than 30 but $25 or so for shipping um, there wasn't any duty or anything on it. It just got delivered straight to my door. So that was that was the total that I've paid anyway. Now if I can give you an idea of uh, how it works, I'll try my best to give a demonstration. Uh, these are the eggs that I've done so far. And these first ones got pinched. And the white shows a bit of the yolk. And then I seem to be getting better at it as I carry on here. So we'll see what happens on the ones that I'm about to try for you. As you can probably tell, I just have it attached to a scrap piece of plywood over the kitchen sink. I thought over the sink I'd make less mess, and I just looked around for something that I could clamp it to, and I have scrap pieces of plywood that I've used for various things in the basement, and that seems to be working quite well. I first, uh, well, the egg was even hot. I've tried with a hot egg just shortly after it was boiled, and with not doing anything to crack the shell, and that didn't work too well. Uh, it actually didn't work at all. It, it ripped the egg all apart. And so what I've done now is I have cooled the eggs down in, in uh, cold water. Before I did that I sort of shook the, the pot around and cracked the eggshells all up. And uh, now that I've, as I take them out of the cold water, I just sort of put them on the countertop and roll them back and forth like that under my fingers just to make sure that the uh, shell is cracked all the way around. I've seen videos where, well, the electric version of this, but I've also seen videos of a hand crank version, people doing four or five eggs at once. I'm not in that big of a rush. I'm not into it commercially, so I, I line them up, but I'll do one egg at a time. 
um, I just you put pressure but not very much pressure just enough pressure to hold it down on the on the thing until it gets started in slow motion. And there it is peeled. A little bit of shell still sticks to it, but I, I just run it under the tap. I'll try another one here. And this is one that I've, I've pinched the white on it again. I think I pressed too hard, but what I plan to do with these anyway is make egg salad out of them so it doesn't really doesn't really matter but if I were going to be pickling them I'd want them to look a little fancier than that. It's really quite an ingenious little invention. Not at all surprised that it came from China. They always seem to come up with a way to do something easier. So I won't be using, if you've seen my previous videos, I'm making a uh, uh, pickled quail eggs. I used a method where I put uh, put them in uh, vinegar after they were boiled and that dissolves the hard part, the calcium part of the eggshell, but it leaves that very fine membrane which is inside here. You see that blue area? That's the membrane. It leaves that bluish membrane on and you have to peel each one. Eh, not that bad. I do four dozen, but standing here at the counter doing four dozen probably takes me three three quarters of an hour to, to peel them. Whereas with this contraption, things are much quicker. Uh, I'm really interested to see if Davy produces one, and I'm sure he will. It's a very simple piece of equipment. I can give you better measurements or whatever, Davy, if you want to give it a try, but. Uh, that is my new quail egg peeler, and I'm very pleased with it. Okay, I'm getting braver. I did just try four all at once. I didn't, they didn't all zoom out of there at once, but it, it got most of them started. Uh-oh. Yeah. Too bad. Sort of tore one of them just a bit. That one. But, uh, you can do more than one. And something else that I'm discovering as I go here, no instructions, so I'm teaching myself. The cooler the eggs get, the better they're working, which I suppose makes sense. When they were hot, it was sort of tearing them apart. But now that they've cooled down quite a bit, it seems to be much more efficient. Well, that is my final production. Some of them, as I say, have got the bit of the white taken away. I seem to get better the faster I went with it toward the end. And then, of course, when you're getting real good, you run into eggs. Uh, something else that I wanted to mention, I will put a link to the Alibaba website and the, this particular product, if anybody's interested. But I also wanted to mention that um, a lot like Amazon, they, have, they sort of manage a lot of um, other companies, uh, resellers, whatever you want to call it. They don't actually warehouse a lot of these things themselves. But what they do in that case, uh, I received an email that this was being shipped. I got a follow-up email that it, whenever it transferred to a different shipper and was going to be delivered. And they keep reassuring you that uh, payment will not be given to the company that this came from until you receive it and go online and tell them that you're satisfied with it. So that's pretty impressive. I'm about to do that. I'm very satisfied with it. It makes peeling quail eggs very easy. So if you're interested, have a look at the link below the video. And thank you very much for watching.